high. Without exaggeration, Darren Aronofsky's debut feature, Pi, is one of the most haunting films I've seen in my entire life, and it's the second film I've watched recently that can be compared to Lynch's Eraserhead. Sean Goulet stars as Max Cohen, a number theorist suffering from numerous mental afflictions, including hallucinations, social anxiety, and crippling cluster headaches. Max is obsessed with finding patterns in the apparent chaos of nature, and steadily goes insane while trying to uncover an elusive code that controls the stock market. Max is also hounded by various groups, including a Wall Street firm and a cabal of Jews who believe that the 216-digit numerical code he seeks is the transcribed true name of God. Like an intellectual refinement of Eraserhead, Pi is a surreal and terrifying thriller about madness, both internal and external, consuming a troubled genius. Goulet is riveting as Max. Pi is essentially a cheap cyberpunk tale of hubris, as Max flies too high, pushes himself too far, and risks burning himself with his ambitions. Max is severely self-centered, but not through arrogance. He is adamant that everything in the universe can be explained with mathematics, and is convinced that he can achieve this, so confident is he of his abilities and the inherently rational foundations of nature. Owing to Max's awkward, reclusive way of life, Goulet casts a presence of deliberate emotional opacity and almost robotic methodicalness, yet animated by a fierce scientific determination, and acts like a caged beast during his fits or roadblocks in his research. Goulet, who co-wrote Pi with Aronofsky, succeeds in making Max both intensely unlikable and sympathetic. Max is cold, withdrawn, and abrasive, yet you are acutely aware that he's a rebel, indicated by his childhood story of looking into the sun because he was told not to, and that he's probably a maladjusted autistic, and I'm sure any of you can relate to his consuming obsession. We've all had an idea or person in our lives that gripped our thoughts tightly and refused to let go. His cluster headaches, which include macabre hallucinations that clearly take cues from Eraserhead, are also deeply distressing for him and us, heightening our sympathy through his vulnerability. Pi is phenomenally tense. Max's research is visibly taking its toll on him, with his headaches seemingly intensified by it, and you are intrigued by his quest for the code even as you fear what it may do to him. Max's descent into insanity is gradual so as not to tire the viewer, even with the explosively intermittent headache episodes, but is stark and confronting all the same, and attains an interesting mystical element, only ever hinted at, from the implication that this numerical code, believed to be God's true name by the Hasidic number theorists, is destroying him because he is impure. Knowledge is burning Max up, as he doesn't know his limits. The Wall Street firm and the Jewish researchers, both trying to persuade or push their way into Max's research, also intensify our concerned investment, as they highlight the fact that Max has gotten caught up in something serious, and put us on edge by how they follow and keep tabs on him. Pi is an intelligent, engrossing character study with a gripping progression toward insanity, and with it a forbidden revelation. The film makes you morbidly curious about what will happen next and how Max will deteriorate, and features some audaciously novel ideas about religion and the mathematical foundations of the universe. Beyond this effective core, the pacing is an entrancing slow burn, the hallucination imagery is grotesque, and the high contrast black and white film with its harsh rough texture complements Max's mental fatigue. Despite its smart narrative, Pi contains a lot of mathematical errors, although most viewers probably wouldn't pick up on them. There was one error that I did register, and it's actually a rather awesome error. Max taunts the Jewish researchers by saying that they must have already sequenced every 126-digit number and never found the name of God they seek. Counting zero as a valid digit, the number of 126-digit numbers is over a trillion Googles. 9 times 10 to the power 215. The number of seconds since the Big Bang is approximately 4.35 times 10 to the power 17 seconds, which pales in comparison to the sheer number of 126-digit numbers. There hasn't been enough time in the lifetime of the universe, let alone our minute human history, to study and test every 126-digit number. There are more 126-digit numbers than there are atoms in the observable universe, which is estimated to be about 10 to the power 80 atoms. Ultimately, I prefer Aronofsky's Dazzling the Fountain, but Pi is an enthralling, intimately shocking psychological thriller and a strong first for the director. Pi earns 4 stars out of 5. Thanks for watching. Cheers.